The movement of water within the Earth and atmosphere is called a water cycle. We call it a cycle because water is in constant motion, so there is no beginning or end. The water cycle can start at any point in the process, but the first step we'll take is to understand where rain comes from. Heat from the sun causes water, mainly from oceans, to warm and eventually evaporate, or in other words, change from water to a vapor. The water vapor rises in the air and eventually reaches a level in the atmosphere where it is cool enough for the vapor to change back to a liquid. This is called condensation. When water droplets grow too big to remain in the sky, they fall back to Earth as rain. In a typical rainfall event, there can be as much as one million gallons of water per square mile. During rainfall, some of the rainwater will wash off the surface into streams, oceans, and other waterways. Approximately 50% infiltrates into the ground and recharges or replenishes the aquifers. On Long Island, approximately 800 billion gallons of precipitation fall every year. Aquifers are comprised of sand and gravel and act like large underground porous sponges that store groundwater. In total, the aquifers beneath Long Island are estimated to hold between 65 and 120 trillion gallons of water, enough to take care of our needs for hundreds of years, even without a drop of rain. There are three main aquifers found throughout Long Island. The shallowest is the upper glacial, the middle one is the Magathy, and the deepest is the Lloyd Aquifer. It can take anywhere from 10 to 30 years for water to reach the upper glacial aquifer, as much as 500 years to reach the Magathy, and upwards of several thousand years to reach the Lloyd.